Morning guys, uh, ready at Northampton to head off to uh, Birmingham Airport and on to Spain. Looking forward to getting home, as you can see I was up early. As my uh, hair is a bit like a uh, toilet brush at the minute I suppose. <laughs> gone, off, gone on a little bit spiky in some areas. Um, so yeah, ready to go, all my bags are packed. I'm just waiting for my train doors to open here before the train's ready and I'm ready to go. It's going to be good to be back. Normally bustling and full of people, lots of shops open, as you can see, not a lot going on. Alright guys, back in La Mata as you can see, um, already feeling more at home already after uh, three and a half months of being away, plaza's all lit up, as you can see, we've started repairing the boardwalk, there's a nice walk area down there now, um, so hopefully we've got some updates coming, because um, we, we're pretty much through the purchasing process of a house, so once that's finished, I'll start doing some updates once we've got the signed and sealed. I'm hoping we could do that probably next week. Um, be nice to nice to get that done and start preparing the renovation before I end up going back to work. Um, you can see the apartment block here is progressing quite well as well. So there's a lot, a lot of stuff been going on lately. 
the airport was an interesting one. I would say about a third of my flight was actually kicked off because they didn't have um, residency because um, they were asking at the Ryanair if you had your green card um, and a lot of people simply didn't and they were just denied access to the flight which was also sort of reinforced by because obviously I was flying out of Birmingham uh, I will be busy playing up here that. <laughs> um, I was flying out of Birmingham but it seems they've been having problems at Manchester because um, one of the well, there's a few people that come to Birmingham to get a flight because they missed theirs because the scanners weren't working at Manchester. So uh, I was speaking to one of the guys with about 70 people on their flight. Couldn't fly. Um, basically, they'd missed the flight, even though they said that the security, they'd been there early enough, they got stuck there for hours. Um, by the time I got through the gate, the plane had already gone. Well, they had been promised by the airport that the they would hold the flight, but it wasn't like one or two people, it was half a flight. <laughs> so I assume that wasn't just one flight out of um, out of Manchester. I've got to admit, Birmingham was probably only looked like about seven flights today, but I'm glad this is one of them so I could get home, but already feeling a lot more relaxed after getting home. And obviously the kids are happy, as uh, you can see here. One of, it, one of mine is uh, running wild and messing around. But yeah, looking forward to getting the new house sorted and settling into um, getting things here sorted permanently. Um, although we're semi permanent, it is, but once you've paid for your house and um, ki kids are off to work, <laughs> be a while yet, um, be here long term. Oh, the restaurants have appeared on the jetty as well. Just down here. Um, just because uh, I know Denise was saying, I've never seen a restaurant on there, but it, there is, it appears every now and again. Um, so I expect that will be open on Saturday. Um, or is it? I think April just said there was a holiday tomorrow, so it might not be open. It'd be nice if it is though. I'm not too fussed this weekend, I'm just going to relax, spend time with the family, do a bit of catching up, and just glad to be home. Thanks for watching.